Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome to episode 9 of Europa Universalis 4 as Venice. We are in this defensive war with Poland, trying to help them... Uh, basically they've been attacked by Lithuania, because Lithuania is trying to go for independence. And I am basically over here trying to siege out Bohemia's capital in the efforts, or in the hope that we can get Bohemia out. Now then, Bohemia are going to go and... This one is difficult because I really want to help there, but at the same time, I don't really want to abandon the siege. So what I'm going to do is detach a siege, and then I'm going to... I can't even move in because I'm actually blocked by a fort. So as much as I'd like to be able to go and help you with that fight, um, Poland, I can't actually reinforce you. Um, it looks like um, Sweden is coming to help. They've managed to throw down. That is good. It looks like you are still going to... Lithuania accepted peace from Poland. Okay, the war is ended. Um, Lithuania will remain the subject to Poland, and Poland will cede... Wow, why would you do that? Why would you declare a war for independence, and then not actually take independence? Still, the war's over. We don't have to worry about losing any more units. Let's bring our guys back. Our army at this point is completely made of mercenaries, because we've got no manpower, and we actually lost our army to an unfortunate stack wipe. But that is fine. We will make do with that. Now, you guys were still 75, so you're all still kind of in the HRE. Um, I am going to say that I want... Can we not... Um, Oh, it's because you're mine. I want to click on me and then... There we go. I want your land, Papal State. I want your land. And just for good measure as well. Um, I want that. And I want that from Hungary. Just so you know that we're on the same page. What is our truce up here? Do we still have a truce? Yes, we do. We could go down and try and deal with the Mamluk issue. Um, they're not in any wars currently, which is a bit of a shame. When is your truce up with the Mamluks, the Ottomans? You don't have one. What are the Ottomans up to? It's looking up with Castile, that's weird. Hmm. Interesting. What are we up to in terms of our force limit? We're up to our naval force limit. Our... Land force limit we could still do with more. I think I'm still going to stick with um, mercenaries for a little while. Simply because I can't actually afford um, the manpower. But I might use my mercenaries and go down there and actually attack the Mamluks. As the problem is they do still have a fairly decent number. I mean, militaristic... Oh, naval superiority I think I have. I definitely have. Um, militaristically... They do have a lot more men than I do. They've got a lot of manpower. They've got a big force limit. I'd kind of like to wait until they're in some sort of... Um, some sort of fight with the Ottomans, if possible. Um, could go and fabricate a claim there, I suppose. Uh, Bradia, let's go ahead and do that. Just trying to find ways that we can expand a little bit. I mean, we can't really declare a war against Genoa because they are part of the HRE, so that automatically brings Austria in. If I declared war on the Papal State, Florence would potentially come in. So would everybody else, including Austria. Siena and Mantua are not a problem. They're tiny. Um, Savoy is an issue. Austria is the bigger issue. Um, now, the Papal State isn't part of the HRE, so it's not the Emperor coming in with the entire HRE. It's just Austria coming in as an ally. ally. Um, none of our allies would be willing to join, which makes them all kind of pointless. I am thinking about getting rid of the Knights. I mean, we are keeping them alive by being allied to them, but at the moment, they're not actually doing anything for us. We'll go and improve relations with them. I don't think we're ever going to be able to subjugate them unless we do that militaristically. 
Um, what about Ragusa? You are still being protected by the Ottomans. And now you've got an alliance with Hungary, which is not good. Of course, it does mean that if I declared war on Hungary, um, we could... We'd be fighting against Ragusa, and that wouldn't bring the Ottomans in. Unfortunately, it would bring in Austria. Again, yeah, Ragusa we don't care about. Mantua we don't care about. Um, Siena we don't care about. It literally would just be Austria. Do we really want to fight Austria? The answer to that question, in case you were wondering, is no. We do not want to fight Austria. Uh, at some point, we are going to have to. Don't get me wrong. I fully appreciate that. Um, we can afford a couple more cavalry, I think. We're not quite to our force limit yet. Well, I say we can afford a couple more cavalry. Uh, they actually cost us 41 ducats each. Wow, that's quite expensive. We're we still making money? We are still making money. So, in fact, I think what we'll do, because we won't want to pay for cavalry and disband cavalry, we're actually going to use um, our own manpower to make the cav. Because it seems a bit silly paying 40 ducats for a, cavalry, uh, for a mercenary cavalry to later on disband it and get our own. Uh, the Ottomans have declared war over Wallachia. That is hardly a surprise. They've only got a few provinces left anyway. Now, Hungary's not all that big. Poland is a positive prestige. You guys need to hurry, hurry up and integrate um, Lithuania. Because the quicker you can actually integrate them. 0% chance of inheriting. Not possible to inherit unless the unions have been stable for at least 50 years. So they've got another 50 years to wait now. You really need to get your shit together, Poland, because you need to form the Commonwealth. We need you on our side. Um, you'd be willing to form an alliance. You quite like us. You are enemies of Bohemia. You are allied to Wuttenberg Treyer. How is the... HRE looking. It's still looking very much in... Uh, the elected Bohemians backing themselves. Brandenburg. Yeah, it looks like Bohemia is going to end up being the next... Um, our agent was discovered. Well, we'll even going is at 87%. Looks like Bohemia may become the next emperor. We could improve relations with Bohemia. We could ally Bavaria. Austria has certainly been blobbing out a little bit. France is doing better than they were in my previous campaign. Currently not at war with anybody either. Burgundy also currently not at war with anybody. Quite passive at the moment. Nobody really fighting anybody else. Lose 50 Diplo power or 10 prestige. I'm going to take the Diplo hit because we are making quite a bit and we don't want to lose prestige. I am considering breaking my alliance with the Knights. I don't think having them down there is any real use and I'd rather have the help of somebody... Who weren't seven guys stuck on an island. I'd rather have somebody actually on um, in the HRE. Reduce technology cost for 30 years. 25 years. No, um, 30 years. Reduce technology cost for 30 years. But we'd lose some Diplo and Admin power. Or lose five prestige. Well, the thing is, think about it, right? A technology is... Um, is it 600 by default? Where? What's the base? Base cost is 600. So if a base cost is 600 and you save 10%, then you're saving 60 monarch points. Now, this is going to cost us 80 monarch points. But if we, can up, if we can get two techs within that time, which we can, we'll save 120 monarch points. So we would be losing Diplo and Admin. Yeah, I think we can do that. Now we can actually afford our next level of Admin Tech. Um, we can also afford our next level of Military Tech. But I'm not going to take that right now because we are way ahead of time. And we'll still have that modifier when it's time to grab it. So unless we end up in a, in a difficult war, then I'll consider doing it there and then. We can pass the, the Heretico Cumberendo Act. Which would give us... Um, Catholicism gets more reform desire and it gives us more national tax modifier and more missionary strength. Yes, we will definitely be doing that. What is the reform desire at currently? Look at our, our, our progress is so slow. 53.1%. Um, Could we possibly get ourselves a theologian? No. 
that is a shame. We could definitely do with one. Um, I do want to go and get another cavalry. Again, using my own manpower. Let's group those guys up. So we'll wait on the tech. So yeah, do I want to break my... Oh, lose 50 admin. That's nice. Do I want to break my relationship with the knights? So, well, I'd prefer to attack them, to be honest. They're not allied with anybody else. Um, I think I break relations with them. I don't think they're that useful, to be honest. We're guaranteeing them. Revoke guarantee. Will give us a, tr uh, a truce. Still got the alliance. I'm going to break the alliance because it'll give me a free slot. Providing we can break the alliance without any um, negative penalties. Got to wait till the 18th of December. Dissolving the alliance. There we go. We can do that. So that gives us a truce until 82. So relatively long truce. What we will be doing though is fabricating a claim. Because if we can grab it, we should grab it. Hopefully we can grab them before the Ottomans decide to grab them. 20th of January. So we'll have to wait for that. There we go. We're going to fabricate a claim on Rhodes. And we have a free diplomat. I'm going to go and... Do I want to offer an alliance to you? Because you're probably going to be the next emperor. No, I think we want to ally um, Bavaria instead. Bavaria accepted. Very good. Um, got good improved relations with you already. What is the opinion map mode looking like? Um, Milan hates us, but they've rivaled us. Papal State hates us, but they've rivaled us. Hungary hates us because they've rivaled us. Ottomans rivaled. Uh, Siena and Luca. We could try... Well, that's um, Savoy. Savoy don't hate me, though. Savoy would accept an alliance. We don't have the slots for it, but we can certainly uh, improve relations with them. We're actually... Um, Oh, no, it's just because the leader wasn't in charge. Now, that is our leader leader, isn't it? Or is it? Yeah, that's our actual ruler. We'll put this guy in charge. He's got three maneuver. It'll reduce the army weight down, so we'll take less attrition. The army weight's only 24. And at least our leader isn't... Uh, our ruler isn't leading troops right now. Can no longer claim that Epirus would be rightfully part of our realm. That's fine. It belongs to the Ottomans and I can't really attack them just yet. So we've got a good little alliance network going on. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Um, we've got some more naval force limit. I'm, I'm almost tempted to grab an, another heavy, to be honest. Um, but I think we're going to grab one more light because we've got 17 and I'd like it to be a nice round number. So let's go and get another light. We can use that protect trade. 27,000 men now. How are the Mamluks doing? 28,000 men. And let's not forget, they also have um, allies as well. If they were in some other war, then um, I'd certainly consider doing something. They're in a Regency Council at the moment, so they're not going to be declaring wars on anybody. They are on Military Tech 5. They're also part of the Muslim tech group, so I think we still do have a significant advantage against them. We are on military tech 6. I could just go and instantly grab um, military tech 7, even though we are several years ahead of time. Because we could get a cannon then. Might be worth grabbing a cannon. I think we'll certainly wait until next year. When we're only one year ahead of time. I think that'll make more sense. What are we up to in terms of the force limit? We can have two more units. Uh, let's have one more um, mercenary. And then when we hit January, we'll take the next military tech. And we will go and grab a um, cannon. Right, what do we want to do with terms of our leader? Um, we're still not at full Republican tradition. How old is he? Didn't even check. He is 51. We'll go ahead and we'll get another um, another diplomat. We'll see how good he is as a leader. It's always worth rolling them just to see what they're like. He's not bad. He's a 2-1-2. Two, two. That's, that's, that's alright. 
So let's put you guys there all together. Group up so you don't take the attrition. We're going to go and unmothball the heavies so they're 100% repaired by the time we're ready to go and deal with the Mamluks. Uh, what we might be able to do with the Mamluks is if they put any of their men on a ship to come and try and siege us out, which they often tend to do, uh, then we can just sink their, sink their armies that way. This is the best way of doing it. Um, you're going to go and protect trade in Venice. How much are we making via trade now? Just under 50%. It's still a decent amount of money. Quite liking that. We are getting ever closer to the next year. Our conversions are just so damn slow right now. It takes forever to do that. Um, I'd really love if we could get a th uh, an Inquisitor, not a Theologian. We've got a Theologian. I'd like an Inquisitor, but there's just isn't one available. To see what happens. Still making decent points. We are behind on Diplo by quite a bit. Uh, we are into the following year. It's only a 5% penalty. Uh, what would our next idea be? Another merchant. Then trade steering. Then caravan power. Having an extra diplomat would be nice. Let's go ahead and take that tech. Yes we are ahead of time. But that's not too much of a problem. I want to go ahead and build a cannon. Can't afford it because we need to have 30 ducats. So next month. Going to CB against the knights, although we can't attack them yet. So let's go ahead and... It says we can't build them, but it says we've got 30 ducats. Apparently it either costs more than 30 ducats, there we go, it either costs more than 30 ducats or we didn't quite have 30 ducats. One way or another it wasn't quite reporting the right number. So we're going to build up the old um, value cannon just to help us get some siege bonus. And then what I will probably do is ship everybody down to Crete first. Uh, because that will make it a lot easier to... Um, oh, one of our generals has died. That'll make it a lot easier to ship troops across quickly before they have... Uh, much of a chance to reinforce. That's the plan. They don't have a lot of forts. So hopefully our advance in military tech will help. We're now taking attrition because we've got nobody leading the army. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, the heavies are done. So let's get the heavies out there. We are go we'll, we'll group everybody up actually. We'll probably need the lights as well to help out while we do this. So we're going to group the boats together. We're going to put you guys on the boats. And we are going to go and drop people off on Crete. We don't have any... Um... Right, can we fabricate any other claims against you? Tirana, possibly we can. Fabricate claim... Um... Tirana, let's do that. So... Do you guys have any other allies? No. You've got Hejaz and Taberistan, who are people we haven't met yet, so we should be able to deal with you, hopefully. Um, yeah, we might need the lights just to sort of deal with any potential navies they may have. We don't have any uprisings right now, so I don't have to worry about having... Um, I don't really have to ha worry about having my armies anywhere to protect me from anything. So we should be okay. Let's go ahead and group you up. We are running on mainly mercenaries. That's fine. We'll spend our money and not our manpower. Lose 50 Diplo power or 10 prestige. I'll take the Diplo hit. I don't want to lose prestige. Why would I ever? Things aren't going too badly. Is that Navy returning? Very slowly. We'll attach you. And again, just in case it isn't obvious, the reason that I'm moving them down here first is that if I land... A sta I've only got 10, 10 transports and I've got about 30 regiments. So I can only move 10 regiments at a time. So if I put 10 regiments here, the last thing I want is for the Mamluks to respond by trying to bring their 30 regiments into me when I will have um, to go all the way up here to pick up the, the next 10. 
So the idea is, we'll drop off the first 10. The first 10 will siege the, the province out, which means we can dock there. And then we can just very, very quickly ferry the rest of the men across. Now, they do have more men than me, but we do have a two technology, a two military tech advantage over them. And I'm hoping that's actually going to be enough. My intent here, as I've said before, my intent is to try and take out um, CERT. Because CERT has a... Triple E's core. Or we could try and release Fazan and take these three provinces. I think I might do that. I might release um, Fazan and then we can actually use Fazan to um, uh, be a march and we can feed. That's kind of what I'm going for. So we'll pick up the last lot of guys. We'll drop them off. We've got two heavies, we've got seven galleys. If we need them, we've got 18 lights that we can call in to help us. And all the time my manpower is going up because all of my armies currently are mercenaries apart from uh, a few units. Now I'm going to drop the whole army off first and then we'll, we'll recombine the stack and split them off. Because what I want to happen is I want to make sure that we get the... Infantry over there first with the general. I don't want to. I don't want to start off by landing the cannon and the cavalry with insufficient support. That would be a dumb idea. But we will start that war in the next video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4 as Venice, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, goodbye for now.